Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. For pricing, reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a 2019 launch from Resence, which designs in Antwerp, Belgium, and builds in Switzerland. This is the 44mm Sapphire and Grade 5 Titanium Resence Type 3W. W for white, building on the design language of the 2013 and later upgraded 2015 oil-filled Type 3. The watch is a regulator. It is a unconventional day date, and it is one of the most innovative products you will find in luxury horology. 44 millimeters in diameter, though it doesn't wear quite so large, it's feather light because it's made all of titanium and sapphire. Turn it on its side, it's 15.8 millimeters thick, and from lug to lug measures 54 millimeters across the wrist with a 22 millimeter spacing if you wish to go custom strap. Now we're going to throw this watch on my wrist, and my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, you can get a good sense of how it wears. It wears like a wire lug roddy mirror, which is to say the case itself is most of the physical footprint, and the lugs serve only to drape the strap over the edge of the wrist. You can see the case itself is coming nowhere near the edge of my wrist, and aesthetically, that's how I read it. I don't read it from the lugs side to side. I read only the case here. So the watch is very comfortable, and I can imagine, even though it's big, it would fit a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference because it would have the same aesthetic effect of being all case and no lug. Now, the timepiece is reasonably thick. They, you probably have a fighting chance to put that underneath a jacket cuff because it is so rounded on its flank. Probably not the tightest of dress cuffs, though. Taking a look at the strap, you can see it is calfskin. It is a nickel anthracite gray sort of color. It has a lovely embossed pattern. Turn it all over and you can see that it is a conventional calfskin and it is nicely made with elongated apertures for the buckle and the buckle itself is anything but a default design. Benoit Mintians, who founded Resence, is an industrial designer. So little aspects like the hand on the tip of the pin, the little recess inside the buckle for the pin, the counterweighted clevis style design of the buckle. All of these things have been carefully considered. The case itself, it barely is there. I mean, it's mostly case back sapphire and dial sapphire. You have this little band of grade five titanium, which is both lighter than steel and more scratch resistant than steel. And then you've got sapphire on the back and the dial side. The dial was an absolute revelation when it first debuted in 2013 on the original Type 3. It gained a oil temperature gauge in 2015, and then this white edition came out in 19. A lot going on here. First, take note, it is a regulator dial, and I'll show you how this works. You've got hours, minutes and then a little runner that displays seconds but take a look you can actually tell whether we're looking at 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. because you have this day of the week indicator and it moves clockwise so that first little arc right there after the two orange arcs that that's Monday so the little index is at the end of that arc so we're in the last phases of Monday and you can see we're at 8 on the nose so that is 8 p.m. you were looking at 8 p.m. so you've got your day you've got your date it is a day date it is a regulator because the hours minutes and seconds are separately displayed and then you have your temperature indicator to let you know whether the watch is in its ideal operating range or whether maybe you need to retire the watch because it's too hot or too cold now because the dial is filled with 35.7 milliliters of oil and the oil has the same index of refraction as the sapphire from any angle, you can read it. This is similar to the technique pioneered by Zinn in the UX, but whereas that was entirely utilitarian on a flat dial, this is beautiful, curved, arced, even a little bit organic. The watch is automatic winding, and you can actually see the rotor on the reverse side. There is no conventional crown. You use the case back to set the watch, including the date, and if you wish, you can wind the watch with the case back, though it does wind itself automatically. There are really two movements in this watch. One is the base caliber, which is an ETA 28242. It is a bi directional automatic winder. It beats at 8 beats per second. It has a 36 hour power reserve and it has 25 joules. The second movement is the Resence Orbital Convex System, which includes 215 pieces, bellows to allow for expansion or contraction of the oil. It features a sealed module bathed in oil so it never needs to be serviced. And there's a magnetic decoupler that links the base movement to the module so there are no through fittings with seals so the oil can't leak from one to the other. And then there's shielding around the hairspring to protect the hairspring from the magnetic clutch that couples the movement to the dial. So they really thought this out. All all told, you've got the 25 joules of the base caliber, and then you've got the module, and together there are 47 joules in the movement, and again, 
215 pieces in the Resonance Orbital Convex System, the module that goes on top of the base. Also very cool, the fact that this watch has three ATM water resistance, which is actually more than most Resonance watches. So you are set in case you get caught out in the rain or splash it while watching your hands. And there's a loom shot coming up that is easily the best of anything this side of a dynamo powered watch or 50 fathoms. If you like this watch, reach out to tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing. And we are back with the spectacular Resonance Type 1W by night. I promised you a hell of a loom shot, and I delivered a fireworks show.